Welcome back to the Scuff Showdown. Keep, keep tweeting us, guys. Hashtag Optic, hashtag TK, hashtag Scuff Showdowns, hashtag, hashtag Maven is old. Hashtag, hashtag. Hashtags everywhere. And you know, this is going to be game number four. Octane Domination. Obviously, if Optic were to win this, they will win the series. They lose. Obviously, we go to a great game five, which would, which would be Warhawk Search and Destroy if we get there. So the game's starting up. And let's go back into our key players for Domination, as we were talking about earlier in the night. And those two players are going to be Skump and Goonjar. And, you know, on this map especially, we're going to be looking at Goon Maven. He's going to need to step up. Yeah, I mean, I get the matchup, but, I mean, uh, this is so much more... Scump, it's very hard, you know, we've talked about it. It's very hard for a sub player to dominate right. on this unless your AR is dominating. Um, yeah. You you know, if you have an AR on the other team just lighting up everything, shooting lasers like Swanee did at Gfinity, uh, it, <laughs> if you're a sub player, you just want to bash your head into a concrete wall. It can be very, very tough to get across mid-map. So uh, the battle of the ARs is going to be the big thing for me. Right, I, I say this all the time. We know when I watch TK play this map, nope. How Goon plays directly affects how Sharp is going to play himself. So who do you want to go on board with to start this off? Um, I wouldn't mind a sub for the early aggression. So we can do a Sharp or a Scump just to see who wins that original break. Because if they can get it behind, let's watch Sharp. Because he's in Diner. He's, he might be the one pushing that right side. I actually see on your minimap, Maven, uh, Scump actually using a Remington right there. So I'm going to go on board with Scump, something we don't see too much out of him recently and he's going to be up top broken with this Remington and oh, you know, well, you know off shots. the rip you'll see that a lot and you know if you have uh, let's say A B control and you have them trapped at, or sorry C B control and have them trapped at A, you can run three ARs. Heck you can run four ARs if you really wanted to. Yeah. You don't see it happen, but you don't need a sub. You just need to set up, get on your iron boots and lock them down with pinpoint shots from the Remington. Yeah, and it looks like Optic's going to go straight for this A-cap right off the bat. It's going to be Nate Shot. He's over there with a trophy system, and this is not looking good for TK. As Scump, you see him middle. He's going to pick up two players. Nate Shot taken out. TK going to be spawning on their own A-flag, but you see Scump, Maven. He is absolutely <laughs> I say, yeah, just terminating. I, oh, God. If you got another one, I say, I say Scump might struggle struggle with a sub. So he's like, ah, oh, nope, nope. I'm going to pull out a Remington he's and like, rip no, off I'm six good, straight. Man. I'm good. Yeah, he, uh, he's absolutely crushing. But let's look across here. So Scump, what? Scump AR, Proof AR, uh, Nade Shot with the sub like usual, and AR. So yeah, they're running three ARs because they have like they, exactly what I said. They have CB control. They have them trapped at A. You don't need a sub, really. No, I mean, Nade Shot could be annoying all he wants with that sub, but you don't, you don't need it. No, you need Nade to win that battle just like we saw him win right there with a sub. Easily just go out and get that one player. Nezla is going to be the only player alive. Oh, they're going to tag God. him up. Play just got a three-piece. Yeah. They're lining up for and him. Scum, you see Scump. He's not going to even push for A. There's no reason for him to push to A. Just great plays right hit there out of him. He's just going to sit there with his AR, just put down shots. But we see one player from TK. He has gotten out, and it's going to be sharp. He's going to be on C flag. And he's going to need this bat win this battle. It's going to be very important. Not able to do it. And then that's going to be a trade with the teammates. So they're not going to be able to get that out. And Goon is the last one alive. Going to have Nate Shot capping A. And if you are a TK fan, this is not good. No, no, it's not. And, uh, you know, Optic self-proclaimed has said they're one of the best teams in this map. You know, you remember that back and forth between, what was it, Clay and uh, Krim uh, before Anaheim. They've, they've for a long time been incredibly confident in their play, and that's mostly the fact that their ARs they've had on the squad have just been so, so good, you know. Uh, so this is going to be... I, I don't want to call it out now and say it's a 3-1, but when you're looking at 56 to 14 and you're not even, what, you're 10 seconds over halfway through the first side, they don't have their home cap. It's complete control out of optic. It's very, very scary to be a TK fan. Yeah, you know, you're going to need a pretty nice comeback out of TK. Even even if, you know, the score were to say somewhere around here, you're going to need 50 point. Make, uh, you're going to need to make up 50 points in the second half, and that's never good. And Skump right now, 13 and 3, you know, living up to the height. He is just melting with this AR. Now, I want to go on board with TK, see what they're trying to do. I'm on board with Nezlo right now. It's 7 and 8. He has been kind of searching for another teammate to really step up throughout this whole series, Maven. Yeah, you know, Matt, I had to tweet out the scuff thing. Ready to go. Try to get in there with you fans, see if I can win one, as I don't have one either. And uh, Clay, Clay's going to drop. I think you're not allowed to win one, so that was kind of a waste of <laughs> I'm not sure I am, but uh, I'm, I'm going to watch Scump. You know, he's 15 and 3 right now. He's putting up numbers that almost seem... Fake. Uh, he does drop the Neslo. Unfortunately, a little little bump there, a little recoil from taking those shots. Wasn't able to focus through that, and uh, we'll lose that fight. But he's destroying right now, and the score is represented by that as two more drop for TK. 
Yeah, and dude, TK can't even get out of their spawn. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to go on board with one of them, give them some love. I'm on board Neslo. He's just trapped behind Blue Dump Maven. You know, he's going to able to nade that one player out. A smart play from him. He needs to get control of somewhere on optic side of the map. They need to just pick up kills right now, but Proof is able to pick up two. Nezla is still, he's still trying to fight this off, maybe. You know, he's been just phenomenal tonight. Yeah, he uh, he has been playing really, really well. And, you know, all, all I can really say about this series, you know, I don't want to say they're out of it, because uh, we've seen 50, 60 point swings on this particular game mode happen from time to time. But, you know, if you understand the game, if you've watched a lot, this is a very intimidating score. So, I just kind of want to go over what what's kind of been going wrong with TK. And, you know, we could talk about the fact that they have the Red Bull host. You know, they're all four playing together for the first time, which is going to be kind of a land feel for OpTic. But no one outside of Neslo, at least from a just from a slang standpoint, I mean, Theory's triple negative, about to be quadruple. Sharp's double negative. Goon's hanging around even. But Neslo's been the only one that could really slay with them right now. Yeah. You know, and we see Neslo, he's really just been the one who's gone over double digits and Goon is a player who we really needed to see something from. I mean 11 and 11 at least he's going to even know with Neslo obviously not with Neslo in the slain department at 13 kills. But, you know you gotta look at the other two guys you know Sharp and Theory they're combined uh, you know uh, 30 nah, that's like 5, 10, 12 12 and 32 right so that's not good at all from them um, you're not gonna win. Yeah yeah 12 and 32. Yeah I can do mass. Like, if, if you put that up at an event, that, that's when you take a break, you put your controller down, you maybe go to the hotel room, take a shower, eat a banana, yeah, exactly, vitamins, you know, a nap. Take a nap. And, and guys, try remember, <laughs> if Optic were to win this map, we're going to go to a commercial break after this, and then we're going to give away a scuff. So get those tweets in. Hashtag scuff showdowns, hashtag Optic, hashtag TK. For your chance to win a scuff, you know, right now, Optic's got a pretty demanding lead, Maven. Yeah, I, you know, I, in my opinion, let's put it on the scump show. He's 21 and 7. He's triple yeah. positive right now. He's going to keep the slaying going. Let's see if he can put up a 40 bomb. Uh, no disrespect to TK or their fans, but uh, unfortunately, it's a bit of a blowout out right now. We'll see uh, see if we can get some big numbers going up. Yeah, you know, I'm on board Nezlo right now, showing him some love. He's going to be able to take B. It looks like TK is going to try and put some pressure onto this A flag. Sharp is able to kill one at Blue Dump. He is going to push in for this A flag, but he is going to get naded by Nate Shot. Looks like he is, Nate Shot's actually going to make his way clear out the flag, but one player from TK still lingering around here, Maven, and I believe that is going to be Neslo. Neslo looks like he's going to push straight out the front. He's going to try and watch B. It's the last line of defense, and yeah, I, I almost feel bad a little bit for Neslo. He's trying to do so much at once tonight. Yeah, and you know they have they have that that power control right now with you know they have the top rogue, they have CB, they have them locked today. So this looks very good for TK. Unfortunately, they just put themselves in such a big hole on the first side. Because uh, right now they're going to have a trip cap, and that's what they need. They're forcing the strip spawn, which is exactly what you need. But uh, it's just, I think, a too little too late, Matt. Uh, you know, uh, they, they would actually come very close if they were to hold this. They need to hold it for an extended period of time. But see a player on uh, C right now for Optic, and that is going to be Nezzo's proofing. doing He's everything. taken out, but Nezzo is just on fire, Maeve. Yeah. Yeah, he picked up two kills. He got the flip. They're pushing the three cap again. They have another three cap. And I might end up biting my tongue here. Is there what? It's up to 40 right now. 39. So, sorry. I Math. Difficult right now. But they, they went from, what was it, 80 the most they were down? Uh, no, I don't think they were down that much. I think it was about 60, 70. Well, they've cut it down significantly. It's about to hit 30 here in a couple of ticks. So fantastic job by them. Nezlo has been pretty much low ammo through all of this. I don't know if that's the uh, the broadcaster glitch or not, but he's on a tear. Yeah, you know, he has been on a tear. Sharp we see in Broken. He is set up to watch this theory. He's just going to watch middle right now. But they do need a uh, trip cap again, I believe, because you'll get uh, 12, 12. Yeah, you know, they would need a trip cap. They definitely would need a trip cap again. Well, a trip cap or at least, you know, get some neutrals right. uh, spattered throughout this. And let's see. That's that's something we need to watch, actually. And that was uh, Nate Trap making a big kill. He got sharp trying to push the neutral. And if you're optic right now, you know, if you're starting to feel a little bit anxious, you really can just have Nate do what he's doing. Play with the sub. Just prevent any kind of neutrals. Because if they prevent the neutral, they win the game. Like you said, they don't, they don't even really need to fight for B. I'm sure we'll see them try, but they don't have to at this point. Right, I think if you're Optic, I would just kind of play to neutral one of these flags. If they can neutral B and then just kind of hang out and stay off of it, I think that's good enough. See Nate Shot, he's going to pick up a huge two-piece right there on this B flag. Goon, he's going to be posted up at the semi. I'm on board with Goon. He's got to go big right here. He's got two players on his left, a player on his right. He's going to take out one. He's got another player in the back of this semi. 
And that is Clayster. Let's see if Clayster can pick up another one. No, he can't. So, you know, as this game goes on, I mean, it is getting so close. TK has dominated the second half, Maven. Uh, they absolutely have it. They're within 20. <laughs> Make it 19 with 90 seconds left. It's it's possible here. They're yeah. doing a fantastic job. And this would be, I think this might be the single biggest point comeback I've ever seen. And we've talked about before, you know, on a lot of maps, 20, 30 points seems insurmountable at times. But on this, you can really hold it. It's not like, you know, Sovereign or Strike, Strike Zone, where you get constant rotations. You can lock stuff down for minutes at a time, which we're seeing TK do. Right, as long as you have good AR play. I mean, you can lock stuff down for pretty much as long as you want on this map. You see Nezo, he's going to push up. He's going to make one player, you know, getting up off the respawn. Two players, that's three down, four off the gaming. And this is not good if you're an off the gaming fan. See, it's going to be one player for Nezlo to beat in there, and he is going to get another three cap right here. Maybe he's going to need help from his teammates, though. I'll tell you what, someone watching the stream, I want you to tweet at us what the oh! official biggest lead was as Nezlo with the three piece, dear God. Nezlo is on fire right now. I mean, he has been carrying TK all night, and this is going to go straight down to the wire, Maven. We have a player from Optic Gaming on B, and that is Skump. He is going to be taken out. No players on any flags. Groofy, the only one up. And did Optic just they have a trip cap. It's over. It's over. Did Optic... No oh. way. It is unbelievable. Amazing ah. comeback from TK Maven. And they are going to. Wow. Wow. I, I need I, to I'm see. Shocked. Yeah, I need someone to tweet me the the biggest lead. Because I, I could have sworn. I thought it got did it close get up to, to 70. 80? I thought it was 70 or 80, but I could be. I thought it was 90, 95 to 20 something, which uh, it's like 70. But I thought it got close to 70, 80 points. Wow. That was just an amazing, you know. That, that big shout out to TK, even if they don't Bye. win this series, to be able to just keep it together mentally to bring back that whole game, you know, win this second half. I mean, that is just absolutely amazing. I can't say it enough. I mean, Nezlo just absolutely, you know, set the tempo for that team. Even yeah. Theory and Sharp definitely turned it up in the second half. But I, I can't believe we just watched that. That was unreal. That No, it was really, I mean, I don't want to say all Nezlo, but no. he had, yeah. where that, that the, the game changer is when they find, they had the two cap and he was the one that pushed the neutral, pushed the right. three cap. Then he ended up helping push the other three cap on the flip side. And then you saw him with what, two different three pieces, I think, throughout that to hold it down. Yeah. Um, holy God. Oh, just amazing plays from Nezlo. So before we get into the final map, hashtag TK, hashtag Optic, hashtag Scuff Slowdowns. Keep the tweets coming, guys. And when we come back, we have Map 5, SD Warhawk. 